In this video, we're going to create a query in Google Sheets that includes both detail level records in our results as well as total amounts that are grouped by a particular grouping also in our results. So you can see here I have a data set of orders by client name. The last column is order amount. And what we want to do is create a query where the results display both the detail level records but also contain a column that has the order total by client. So we're going to begin with the query statement and the key to doing this is in this first argument here. We want to begin with a set of opening curly brackets. Curly brackets allow you to join ranges together that aren't physically together on your spreadsheet. So for the first range, we just want to get this entire data set here like normal. I'm going to add a comma after that because a comma inside curly brackets says join these ranges so that they're displayed side by side. And that's what we want. So the next range we're going to put in here is actually just going to be the output of a sum if function where we sum column D order amount by client name. So the problem here is the output of the sum if function is not an array output and the query function is an array output. So if we just put in the sum if by itself, it would give us an error message because the number of rows would not equal the number of rows in this first range here. So what we need to do is convert it to an array output. So we're just going to nest the sum if within the array formula because that's exactly what the array formula does. It converts a non-array output to an array output. So we have our sum if function. First input is our criteria range, which is column A because we want to sum based on the client name. The next input is our criteria. Now normally you would think you can only enter a single cell here, but actually you can enter an entire criteria range here and it will produce the same result that you would see with the single cell. So that's what we're going to do here. Select that entire criteria range again. And then finally we have our sum range, which is column D, the order amount column. So this is everything we need here. We have our first range of four columns here. We have a comma and then join it to this output of this formula here, which will produce one column of totals by client name. So that's everything we need. We can close this out with an ending curly bracket and then a comma and we're into the second argument of our query statement. So the next input is our select statement. So I want to pull back all the columns. So I'm going to say select star. And for now, we'll just query on one client name, maybe the Tillman group. So we're going to have a where condition. And since we created sort of our own virtual array in this first argument, we can no longer refer to the column letter. We have to use column numbers. So that is column one. We want anything in column one that is equal to the Tillman group. So our final argument is the number of row headers we have in our data set. That is one. So that should be that. So you can see this produces all of the detail records for the Tillman group. And it also adds a column with the total amount of orders for this client. Now you can see this produces a zero for our header for this fifth column because it's the output of the sum if function. If we want to change that, we can use a label clause. So we can say label column five, and then in single quotes, give it a label name so we can say client total we can also format column five and also in single quotes we can give it an accounting style format so that would be 
something like this. And there it is. So if we wanted to see all of the clients, we can simply remove our where condition and I might replace it with an order by statement. So we want to order by column one. And you can see we have each of our clients with detail level records as well as a total client total in this last column that equals the sum of the detail records. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.